Whoa, greetings everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. I am the Lord Beard. This is episode 15 and this is my new manor house. Yeah, this is the manor house of Imanrith. Uh, well, the start of it at least. Uh, it's got a really nice view. Uh, where it will have a nice view. I'm going to still try do a little bit of tree chopping over there. Um, and we're going to get this uh, all sorted over here. But uh, it is good. It's a good position. It's quite close to town. Um, so if you just have a look up here, uh, the church is right behind it. And we decided to build this one quite close to town because I think Imanrith is going to be, by and large, a much smaller uh, settlement uh, than, than, than uh, Volbant, which is over here. Uh, which is looking mighty good. We've got 224 people in Valbrand. It's a sizable, uh, sizable village right now. We're actually a large village. Um, in order for us to get to a small town, uh, which is the next milestone, really, uh, we need to start getting some level 3 Burgage plots. Uh, which, yeah, I think that's actually what we need. We don't have a single one at the moment. Uh, and I think it actually might be a good idea. There's some other things that I'd like to do because I'm starting to worry that we're going to get attacked again soon. Uh, either by more bandits or by the Baron because if we scroll out, all regions are now taken. And I'm worried that the bandit is going to, I mean the Baron, this guy, Hildebolt, is going to try and go uh, for uh, one of our regions. The outlaws are already there as well. Um... We could go, uh, oh, we can diplomacy work with them. So wait, it's a pleasure to meet you. Negotiation deck. I didn't even know we could do this. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> no influence cost. Right, let's actually just drop this here. I want to see if this actually does anything. Uh, no. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. We'll send that. Uh, can we say anything to this guy? Uh, I require silver. Your time has come. Uh, request funds. Can I request funds? Uh, no. Oh, I can actually. I could do that there. Uh, no, it's got out. I, 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 I'm not going to do influence. Oh my gosh, it's got a lot of influence. Um, I've got more than him though. So he's got to catch up, I think, to, to 2k in order to challenge me. So uh, I don't know. Is he going to get there? That's, that's the question. All right, let's uh, focus on some other things quickly. So as I was saying... I think I need to beef these guys up. And in order to beef them up, I think that what I can do is I think the level 2 militia uh, can wear gambesons. So I think I should start making gambesons. Uh, that would that would be ideal. And for gambesons, we're going to need some, 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 uh, some linen. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, that means we need more regional wealth. So I think we're going to have to do a bit of trading. Um, we're going to have to do a lot of trading, in fact. In fact, we're very slacking on the trading front. So let's actually do a little bit of trading. Let's see if we can get this, uh, get this going a little bit. There's only two people working in the trading post as well. I might have to increase that. So, stone. Um, let's not trade that at the moment. I don't need any stone at the moment. So, um, yes, we've got enough as well. We should export planks. For sure. In fact, we should start making more planks. Planks seem like a good way to sort of just make money. Uh, one to one. Roof tiles. I want to make roof tiles. Yes, we are indeed exporting roof tiles. Okay. Food, we have nothing to spare, I don't think. We could sell some bread, uh, which we are. We could start a dedicated route for that. I'm not sure how much of a good idea that actually is, though. Although we've got a lot of vegetables and some eggs. Uh, so, yeah, maybe I will actually keep that there for the moment. Uh, on this front, we could start a couple of these. Uh, we could do some hides. We're going to trade wooden... We're trading wooden planks. Start, right? Wool. We could trade some wool. Uh, let's export wool. Let's keep uh, maybe 15 in the bank. Make a little bit of extra off that. Iron slabs, we can't. We could export clay as well. Um, we could export firewood. Uh, I'm going to start a route for firewood. Get that going. Uh, leather as well, we've got going. Okay, cool. Uh, we are also exporting cloaks from here now. Uh, and with a dedicated route, we could start doing shoes, which also might be quite valuable. Since I think we have quite a bit of leather. We do. You know what we're going to do? 
We're going to take one of these guys and we're going to take them and we're going to turn them into a burger pot here. This is a level two. There's only one family in here. So I'm thinking I turn him into a cobbler. Yeah, he's going to become a cobbler. That's taking the family off the unassigned pool. Uh, but that way we can start building up an extra clothing option as well. Uh, for our citizens. I mean, we're generally doing quite well. We're, we're even managing to supply ale at the moment. 22 ale. Uh, I feel like this town's going solid here. So I feel really what we're doing is we just need to start making uh, gambesons. Uh, yep, gambesons. So we just need linen. Um, we can't grow flax here. That's not going to happen. So I guess what we should do... Uh, should we just import flax? It's cheaper than going for linen, which is four, whereas flax is two. Um, I'm going to import flax. Um, I actually might even start a dedicated route for it. I'll spend that there. Uh, let's take this to 10. Okay. Uh, we're going to import barley as well. I'm going to drop this to 15. Okay, let's hope the rest of it can... Um, can uh, sort of uh, account for the, the balance there. But I think I think that should help us uh, pull in some cash. Uh, let's check on our taxes quickly. Land tax is 20%. It's pretty high. And we're tithing here. But we're trying to mass influence. So that's fine. Um, let's actually go and see if we can tax. Actually, this reminds me. Uh, we set this. Yes, we set over here. I'm thinking we might even land tax these guys a bit more. Um, I'm going to set this to 20%. We've got to get... Ca the reason why is because I'm really worried about being attacked again, as I said. And I think that what I should ideally be doing is trying to rack up some of my treasury um, so that I can actually hire more retinue members. Uh, because I don't think I'm going to survive with just those. In fact, actually, I wonder if we have enough. Yeah, we have enough shields and spears for me to actually create an entire new spear militia. So I'm actually going to do... Oh, I can't. Two, three, four, five, six. Can I not do this? Oh, I'm locked out. Um, and we only have one, one set of mercenaries we can hire. Okay. All right, this is what I got. I I believe, and this is a mistake I've made, and this is what happens with the sort of playing things blind, is, is that what I should have done is I should have created six militia before even building my first retinue so that my retinue was essentially my seventh unit rather than one of the six. Because I think that's what happens here. I think that these, and these two retinues have ended up as counting as my initial sort of base six units. Whereas ideally what I want to do is I want to have two other militia units here and then my retinue. Um, I believe that's correct. I, I, yeah, it's a mistake. It's a mistake I made, but there you go. There you go. Right. Otherwise, everything here is actually running fairly well. Um, let's fast forward slightly. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get going, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. We can go a lot faster. Let's hope that uh, this money stacks up. I do want to get to level 3 burgage plots. Because um, we actually do. We just don't have enough wealth. I mean, we've literally got everything ticked off here. Uh, all of the requirements are met. So I'm thinking that as soon as we stack up a little bit of wealth, I think what we'll do is we'll try go for 3 level 3 burgage plots. Um, and stack it up that way. Yeah, that's, I think, what we're going to do. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a jump now because uh, we're just going to actually basically sit here and wait for money rolling. Okay, so Wallbrand is uh, building up some regional wealth here quite nicely. Our little trade adaptations that, that went on here are really cooking. Um, and holding tab, um, which is actually something that I need to do a lot more of, um, we can see that uh, we are... Oh, it's just planks. Okay. So otherwise, we've met all the requirements. We just need some planks uh, in order to get this guy running a little bit better. Now, this guy is absolutely not going to run enough. 
Um, I think that what we should be doing, actually, is building another saw pit. Um, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go hard on planks in in Volbrand. Um, I'm gonna do this over here. Um, and I think we've got one family spare at the moment. We do. Okay, so let's put another one in there. And I think uh, where is we had a hitching post around here, didn't we? Um, I thought we did. Um, saw pit. Well, um, no, we don't. Actually, I'm gonna put another hitching post here. Uh, itching post. Um, there. Uh, put a hitching post over here. I will get that one built as well. And then what I'll do is I will order probably another ox. And that ox will take us up to... What will take us up to? Take us up to four ox. And I will dedicate that ox to the saw pit. So Herman, like, like the saw pit here has got Herman... I will give that guy a saw pit as well, because I think what's happening is, is that our joiners are churning out the, it's the wooden parts, basically, that are, that are chewing here. Um, yeah, I think that's what's happening. Uh, absolutely what's happening. But otherwise, everyone's pretty good. Look at this. I mean, we are generally happy. Everyone's got food. Um, maybe actually we should even just be leveling some of these guys up now. Um... This guy here doesn't actually have a backyard. Uh, do we give him chickens? Or do we give him veggies? I think we should give him chickens. I think we need a few more chickens in town. Uh, who else doesn't have a backyard? You, you. Uh, you guys along here, but that's fine. Uh, you guys I want to keep as potential um, workers. So you over here can also get some chickens. Yes, okay. Good. And I think you can level up to level two. Uh, let's do you to level two as well. Uh, let's go level two as well. Because all of this means uh, all of this means money, right? Are we doing on ale quickly? 14. Um, okay, wait, trade. Uh, trade. Let me go to Bali. Uh, I'm gonna up this to 20 again. 20, cool, cool. I might even establish a proper trade route here as well. Um, yeah. This is good, by the way. Um, are we actually getting... We are going to get linen now, which should mean that we should start getting gambesons uh, pretty soon uh, for some of these dudes, which I'm actually really happy about. Like, that's going to make a massive difference, Sam. It really is going to make a huge difference. No, I, I want to I wanna go faster. I don't want to pause. Um, also, I'm very happy with the amount of... Uh, food that we're pulling in um in this area it's actually solid it's really solid i think our only problem at the moment really is the planks okay so i actually think we can support some more people um in Volbrand. i think uh Volbrand's not done with the burgage plots yet uh we need a couple more people to come in with 72 families i think that's really impressive if you ask me i'm gonna do this over here put two more in there um Wait, can I... Is that a good idea? I suppose we could do a field around here and we could do some stuff from on the back. But yeah, we're going to do it. Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, right, these fields are all pumping. Uh, you guys got people in you. Uh, you're running out, but that's fine. It's all seasonal. Um, we've got wood. We've got clay. Um, oh, we need to upgrade this deep mine. That was pointed out to me, and I actually never did that. Um, so, again, uh, it is a planks issue. Okay, so really we need more planks, and then that mine, upgrading of this deep mine is going to be really important, I think. Yeah, okay. The other tip, uh, and I've been getting so many, thank you so much. We should actually turn off wheat in the granaries. Uh, and that means, as far as I understand, that it goes straight to the windmill. So let me go down here. Uh, where's our granary here? Granary, advanced. I haven't played with any of this, which is, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, this granary is not working anymore, is it? Um, advanced. Uh, I don't want anything in here. Um, take it all out. Reject all goods from this category. Reject. Okay, cool. Um, can we please empty this granary? Um, 
Or maybe what I should do is I should just delete this. Demolish. Yeah. Are all the foods over here? They are. Okay. So just come move them. That was a risky move. Um, but hey, you know. Um, I do want to put a house here. Um, I think I might move this hitching post. Um, yeah, in fact, actually, all of this is going to have to get moved, isn't it? Yeah, so this hitching post here is going to get moved. Um, I think it's going to get moved out here, actually. Um, yep, we're going to move it there. We've got some families going to come in. Um, actually, you know what I should do? I want to put this on highest. Just so we can get some families in. Uh, I, I'm desperate to see as some gambesons come in here. Do we have any gambesons yet? Do we have how much linen we got? One linen. Um, we have the. These guys will do both, won't they? Advanced weavers workshop. Sick. Hey, that's not good. Um, I think they do both. Uh, both yarn and whatever. Uh, yarn and linen. I'm hoping they do. Uh, that would be ideal. <laughs> otherwise, um, otherwise I, I'm not doing anything. How many families are doing nothing here? Three. Okay, let's just pay attention to Imanrith as well. Um, maybe I should have a look what's going on in the Imanrith trading as well, right? So, no trade on stones or planks. Uh, although we've got a lot of planks in here. Um, wait, maybe we should trade planks here. Can we trade these directly with uh, without the export uh, import cost? Um, or maybe we can uh, ship planks there and ship something else back. You know, that's what we're going to do. Uh, where's our pack station? Um, pack station. Uh, we need to allocate a human to this. And we need to order a mule uh, with send um, planks. Uh, must offer something for barter to work. What are we gonna send from um, from 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 world brand? What do we have a lot of in world brand? Uh, we have got quite a bit of leather. Although I'm pretty sure we've got quite a bit of leather here too. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of leather here. Okay, 1.7. Okay, let's see how that works. Um, I hope we are gonna get a livestock, a permanent livestock. Uh, okay. Uh, hopefully it comes. We'll we'll check back in there just now. I haven't played with that yet. I believe I think that's how it works. They just ship something over that that way. Um, we are actually also gaining money in our treasury. Uh, I don't actually have to go here. I can go here, can't I? So, Imanrith Militia. Um, I am going to spend... I'm going to hire two more people to this militia. Um, I really do feel like I need to beef up my my uh, my, my defense levels here. It's going to go badly for me if I don't, I think. Um, but I'm really loving the way this is looking here. Hey? Um, I'm thinking this 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 village here is going to need some uh, is going to need some uh, goats, some sheep of its own, pretty soon as well. So I was thinking, how about we put like a how about we put a a, a um a pasture um, in here. That, that was the word I was looking for, pasture. Um, so I was thinking, like, we we sort of pasture this. Okay, wait, let's do... Can I go over here? Like, we do, like, a triangular pasture. Um, I mean, that's 30 sheep in there. Um, I think I'm going to plop this in if I can. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I think that's awesome, though. Um, you know what, actually, I'm going to get rid of this because I don't think it actually... Yeah, there you go. That's better. That's better. Okay, cool. Great. Yeah. So there, I think that's uh, that's more than... Th that's 34 sheep, right. And then what we'll do is we'll do a sheep farm. And we'll put the sheep farm over here. Uh, let's just turn off the snap to roads. So we can get it in a nicer position. Actually, let's do it like this. Um, like, wait, can I do this, um, like that, and then we go sheep farm, uh, wait, now we do the step to right, there you go, cool, we'll get that in there, um, and that'll be quite cool, and we'll start, we'll start getting some, some sheep in here as well, because, uh, 
The Immunrith guys deserve Gambesons too. Um, right, what do we need here? We are also... Hey, look at that. We're also one off this. I forgot how quickly Immunrith grew. Let's just have a look here quickly. So we've got no backyards there. You're ready for upgrades. You're ready for upgrades. Um, there's some fuel missing there. Okay, so we maybe need to have a look at our firewood fuel supply here. Um, we've got honey. I forgot about the apiaries here. I think we've only got one in. I think we can build two, can't we? Um, let's go to the apiary. Yeah, we can build another one. I think I'm putting this one out here. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this apiary here. I think that's kind of cool, don't you? Uh, let's put it... Let's put it over there. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna draw a nice road around here. Uh, like that. Um, no, let's go to there. And then we'll go around to there and link him in like that. And we've got a path that goes all the way around there. To an apiary. Another apiary. Fantastic. Warbrand. Have we got another burger's pot finished? Yes, we do. Is that this one up here? Good, so these guys are finished. That'll attract a little bit more. We got some cash now. Um, do we have the planks? Six planks. How many do we need again? Eight. Okay. Um, we really need some more families to move in. Um, and this guy here, high priority, please. Let's let's do it, everyone. Uh, I do want those Devil 3 burgage plots by the end of this episode. It's kind of the goal. Um, have we, um, have we got rid of everything here? Guys, there's some still stuff on the floor here. Wait, um, advanced. Wait, I've told you none of that. None of that. Just that stuff there. Good. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, no wheat in there. Only on the farm to get threshed. Um, and I think maybe what we'll do... Is this guy being stuffed? He is stuffed. Look at the farmers coming back from the, the fields. Um, I, I, we're actually rocking here, hey? Five months of food. Uh, we've got... Okay, it's, the tax is basically on the, on the happiness at the moment, I think. Um, but I'm getting more... I'm getting some cash rolling in here, which is great. Um, and I am going to, again... How much is it? 50. Okay. So eight. I, I really need to expand this. I really need to expand my retinue here. Um, just defenses. It's starting to really worry me. I don't want to get burnt down again. You know, um, it's a it's a huge problem. Um, no one. This guy hasn't written back to me. How much has he got? He's gaining influence. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm worried that when he gets to two thousand influence, he can challenge me basically to to one of these pieces of property which i'm not keen for um okay i need to build here uh we need to build uh livestock trading i think um because yeah we need livestock trading because we're gonna need some sheep in here aren't we i kind of like that right there we're going for it uh you're pumping out planks that's really good did we get enough planks here now? Um, oh, only six planks. Okay. Um, is this running? We are running here now. Um, livestock. Advanced. I want a permanent livestock on here. Um, and I, tannery, only one person. Clay furnace. I'm going to take one person off the clay furnace. And I'm going to add them to here. Construction reserve is 10. Uh, livestock is fried line uh, is assigned. Okay, cool. Let's let's go, boys. Um, let's get that out, shall we? Um, okay, where did I put the uh, label to burger pot? Where did I make the te the? I put a, a thing in here, didn't I? Uh, the cobbler. Are you making boots? Are we making boots? Um, it's over here, isn't it? Cloaks, shoes. Can we please make some shoes? Cobbler, general, we're making shoes. Leather, can we make shoes? Good, we'll make shoes. Uh, and then over here, in the trading post, aha, trade, uh, we will go to goods and shoes. I think we might spend some money 
<clears throat> as soon as we have shoes, that is. Uh, oh, we're making cash off that. That's good. Um, that's good. Um, ale, I'm happy. Um, this is good, guys. This is really good. Um, I think what I might do is... I've got a dedicated route here. These are going down, but that's fine. We can still just sell. Export planks. We've only got one. Um, I might just import planks. I want this to be at... 20. Um, let's go and see if that pack station has actually worked. Because I did say send planks. Um, so, pack station. Uh, uh, people. Uh, pack station worker. Uh, where are you? Are you transporting? Pack station worker. Okay. Maybe she is transporting here now. Um, let's see where she goes. Is she going to go to my trading post? Or is she going to go to my other... She goes to my trading post. Has she given me planks? Uh, she's Oh, she actually is going to the other pack station. Oh, no, she isn't. Did she bring planks? I don't know if she bought planks or not. Anyway, we've got eight planks. Um, at least eight planks. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, requirements are not met. Suddenly, we don't have enough tavern supply. Uh, okay, come on, guys. Get the ale out. Where's the... Come on, tavern. What do you mean, no tavern supply? Uh, I might have to put another person on the tavern. Come on. Tavern supply. I want to upgrade three of these. Um, that's the goal. Seven planks. Come on. Now I'm losing planks. Uh, okay, cool. We've got another 47 there. I need money, everyone. I need money. Um, but this is pretty useful. Another thing that I always forget about doing is you can click on the market, right? Um, and this gives you an idea of where the food variety is. So fuel there. Food variety is okay. Um, so all the ones in green are good. It's just those guys down there at the end. Um, so I've also learned something else that you can do. Um, which is really, really, really kef. Um, is that we can take one of these. So that's a food store, right? I'm going to take you. And this is another market over here. Um that we can put you at. So I'm going to slam you in right over there. So we can move a food store over there. Yo, I see this is what I wouldn't want to happen, right? Uh, okay. Pause, 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 pause. Imanruth. Right. Who, the Baron is coming for Imanruth, everyone. The Baron is coming for Imanruth. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, what do we have to do? We're going to have to resolve this claim on the battlefield. But I'm going to have to hire some mercenaries. Let's hire them. Where are they going to come? The wayward sons. Where are the wayward sons? Uh, oh, they're going to come on the map over here. So let's get the Wayward Sons. We're going to have to march. Where's this battle going to take place? Um, okay, let's get the Wayward Sons here. Yes. Right. Um, how much money do I have? Oh, dear. Okay. All right. Uh, Imanrith, uh, I've got the pole arm militia and a retinue. I'm going to rally them. But I'm going to rally them and I'm going to rally them down here. Right. Then I've got my wall brand crew who I want to come in and support. Um, it's going to be a mission for them to get here. I'm going to rally them. I'm going to rally them here. Right, everyone. This is intense. We're going to be attacked. Uh, I'm going to have to resolve this claim on the battlefield, I think. Uh, there is no other way around this. I am not letting go of Imanrith. Uh, it is going to be absolutely essential to beating the Baron. Um, I do not have a very big army. I hope he does not bring his full strength against me. This might be tactically difficult. So... As our army goes out, there they go. Goodbye, boys. Go rally. Go rally and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll jog down there with you. So if anyone is interested, tomorrow's episode is going to be a battle. 
Uh, it might be the whole episode. It might be part of it. But it is going to be a battle. Because uh, we are going to have to defend Imunrith. Where's my soldiers? There they go. Uh, our brave soldiers are rallying. Uh, we've hired uh, some mercenaries. There they're cooking down there. There they run. Okay, so that's our pole arm militia over there. We've hired some mercenaries. We've got a tiny retinue, not a very big one. Uh, and it's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. But that's where we were going to lend it. Uh, stay safer than I hope some of these men are going to. And I'll see you for the next episode. Until then, I am The Beard. Signing out.